Happy Sunday morning, y'all. It hadn't been daylight long, and we're here to see how the garden's doing and, <laughs> and a little bit of the renovation. But right now, I am harvesting green beans. Now, I could have harvested two days ago, three days ago, but I didn't want a little. So we're gonna find out together just how much I'm gonna be able to harvest. There's a lot on here still have to grow, but I'm hoping to get a good mess to cook with you guys probably tomorrow, Monday. So yes, I'm, I've been holding out to do this with y'all. I am so excited that we will get that mess of beans that I so wanted before um, the frost hits, which we have a couple of weeks, uh-oh. And this is what you don't wanna do is accidentally pull a baby. But I pulled it, so hey, it's gotta go into the pot. But that's what we're doing. Um, why I harvest these green beans, and then we walk through the garden, I'm gonna insert a clip of what Buddy worked on yesterday when we got back from my sister's. We had to go help her. She had knee replacement. So when we got home, he uh, tilled up some dirt. So I'm gonna insert that clip right now while I'm harvesting my green beans and we'll see what I end up with. And we are excited of what is now growing for us for the first time here. Um, actually, I think it's uh, Buddy's first time to grow what's in that video. So enjoy, and I'll meet y'all back here to see how many green beans we got. I want y'all to see how dry it is. I showed you how powder house it was dry. I mean, he tilled that with the tiller. So now, what do you got going right there? All right, I've got garden soil. This is it. Mushroom compost with uh, sand. Then I also went by the compost pile, picked up some uh, good old chicken droppings and uh, chips and all from probably six months ago. Uh, Got a few scoops of that in here. I've tilled all that up. I throw some triple 13. I've churned all that in. I done put one wheelbarrow load in the bottom of this. Churned it in. Now I'm gonna stack all this in there. Churn it in. So, what are we planting in this hole? What are we planting in the yeah. hole? Yeah. Well, something that we've been wanting to plant since we got here. We just hadn't took the time to do it. What perfect time, but right now. And that's sugar cane. Uh, I was able to be blessed from Danny and Wanda down deep south. They sent me sugar cane, and uh, we've been—they've been going to send some since we've been here, get it started. But I just wasn't ready, and it was perfect opportune time because they was in the middle of doing some, and they packaged me some up and sent it. So now it's going to go in the ground, get started here in North Louisiana. And how are we going to grow ours? We're going to grow it in the wheels just like they do. That's right. Now, guys, I need to stress: this is not chewing cane. This is syrup cane, and there is a difference. So I'm just gonna hold the camera for a few minutes and and let's see how Mr. Buddy does. And if y'all wanna know, Lippy's lazy, I'm sitting on the golf cart, I'm tired. <laughs>
A lot better soil in there now. Some amendments in it. Break some of that out. So I can start my wheel in the center. Pull this back on top of it. This is one of four of our sprinkler systems, the aerated system with the septic tank. And you can see that's why he chose to plant our first wheel right there. You can see it's going to be able to water continuous right there. Because from what we understand, it needs to have quite a bit of water, but not standing in a lake. So that's how many canes I got that they sent me. I've already got them cut. You can see a lot of them already started rooting. Got sections on them. Some of them got two nodules. Some of them got three. But we're going to build the size wheel we can build. And if y'all haven't seen, let me show you. This was our granddaughter's golf cart that's been with us many, many years. And uh, now she's driving a car. And she says, I don't want the old golf cart. So Papa put him a, built him a box, a toolbox. So now Buddy has his own, what would you call that? Golf my cart. My yard cart. His yard cart, y'all. I can haul all my stuff on it. And he's sporting that, uh, that beach, beach blue. blue. That beach blue. It used to have little running lights and stuff on it. But now it's Mr. Buddy's. What'd you call it? That's my old, uh, just my old yard cart. Yard, yard cart. cart. <laughs> We're gonna start seeing what kind of wheel we can get built here. Leave them crooked ones. Piece now, we've never done this before, y'all. No, I watched Danny's video, and I'm gonna see what I got to make what size. Because you may be able to make it a little bit wider. Yeah, just gotta see where I can come out. Yeah. I have to change it up a little bit. Play with it. And didn't it didn't it have spokes? Yeah, it has spokes in the Oh, okay. In the middle. So you may be able to go bigger. <clears throat> We're gonna see. We can open it up a little bit. Y'all see, he didn't let me get down there and draw a wagon wheel. Be a pretty good size wheel there. I think you can probably go bigger, huh? Not keep it tight. Oh. I mean, maybe a little bit. I don't think it's supposed to be real tight. No, you want it tight, he said. Oh, is that what he said? Well, y'all no, watching us do tight. it for the first time, we don't know. Now, I do have to ask, because it's showing roots, does that mean you need to have them up, or do they go down, or does it matter? It don't matter what with cane, it's like bamboo. Okay. It's going, if you look, it's got dimples all the way around. So it could grow off anywhere. Okay. Because I know you used to grow a lot of bamboo. Yeah. So. We had quite a bit of bamboo. Space these out a little bit. You don't think that's too tight? Nope. I don't. Okay. I think it's going to be a nice little stand there. Because you're going to get one there, 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 there. That's why I was saying. That's going to be mighty tight. Well, that's what you're supposed to have them as tight, he said. Oh, okay. Okay. Okay, there's the wagon wheel. Now what we do? There's the old wheel. Now I'm just going to pull some dirt from the outside of here. Oh, and what did you fertilize all of this with? Uh, triple 13. Okay. And then some, just some compost chicken. Okay, but you did use the triple 13. Yeah. Okay. It's so dry, I'm going to dam it up, flood it, let it soak in. Yeah, that makes sense. That way it'll suck it all up good. They are loaded on the vines, but look at the mess that I just got. Now, this is a huge bowl, guys but I want you to look at these beautiful contender beans. They're absolutely gorgeous. No bug damage at all on the plants. 
So I'm very, very pleased and blessed that this will give us a good mess with some little new potatoes. But look at that up close. So we'll just start the garden update at the green bean patch. But you are gonna notice something very different. And we'll get to that in a second. But I transplanted the celery last weekend when we started tearing the beds down. It's not exactly where I wanted it, but it looks very happy. And that will just be temporary, temporary where we have those uh, buckets. But I'm gonna leave them for now because I'll be able to tent them easily, you know, if we get some cold temps. I'm leaving the lemon balm and probably the mint for right now because we have a whole lot of work ahead of us. I started to take this bed down, but because it's connected to this one, we're just going to leave it till I finish the green beans. But look, guys, all the beds are done. Now the work begins getting all of this dirt up and moved to a large pile. And I'm also going to mend it when we start transferring the dirt to its pile. And I'll bring y'all along and show you what I'm going to do. But look at this mess. But I have a vision. <laughs> and though it looks like a hot mess now, it's going to make for a really nice garden using our buckets. Y'all, I had a chicken loose, so where was I? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, the buckets. Um, they are going to work out fantastic. But for now, this is what we're dealing with. Remember, there was the entrance to the garden. We're going to go all the way down here before we look at our little garden update. And we're going to try and get this back row down. We left it last because we have the shade cloth. So we have to get that down. We will reuse those two by fours that you see. Um, that's good material. So we've got just this side and basically down. And uh, let's see, one, two. And of course, let me move you over here where the green beans are. We've got those three beds and then the beds on the side where the muscadines are. So not too bad. And from this angle, lots of dirt, guys, <laughs> a lot of dirt. Since we're on this side, remember these three buckets that had no tag? And I came to the conclusion that I never seed started. Well, Buddy had some um, cabbage. I think he had a six pack, no, a four pack, because there's four here. And I said, you know what, let's just plant them. And that's what I did, is I planted his cabbage. Here's three, and you'll see the others. This is the mixed radishes. I am seeing germination. I know you can see a little bit in the camera, but in a couple of days, that should green up. Here's his other cabbage. And I'll have to ask him what kind of cabbage this was because it was a new variety that I had never heard of. He found it at the local co-op. Our spinach is popping good. I noticed I don't have much here. But I have one in the corner. I wouldn't say that was lack of germination. I would actually say that was lack of lippy strategically spreading them because <laughs> if you really look at it it's like i did one side and i didn't do the other but i have some more seeds so i'll probably scatter those out now we're going to come down to this bucket i planted some detroit beets here um day before yesterday so it's a little soon and what i did was i took uh peat moss and I just covered it lightly with peat moss. So I've got some more Detroit beets 
going here. And it looks like Mr. Buddy has got some tomatoes, guys. Can y'all see? So, he may get him a tomato or two before the frost hits. I don't see any anywhere else. Lots of blooms, though. Our future San Marzano beds have turned into the catch-all. <laughs> Everything we've been pulling out of those other beds, we've just been setting them here. Um, to work with it, I did bring that beautiful mum out and set it, let the pot just sit in there. But isn't that pretty? It just brings that little bit of pop of color. And we're going to go backwards this time. Normally, we start at the other end. You can see, other than the leaf, the carrots are starting to come. When did I plant that round? I told y'all it was last week. So, they are germinating. And remember, I said I didn't cover this this time. I just wanted to see. Well, they are germinating. I don't know how much I'll get out of this bucket, but we're going to see. Look at the reddishes, guys, just from last Sunday. And I see where they're starting to fill in. But I also noticed, look, can y'all see that? Looks like something was digging in there. I don't know what, but it's obvious something was digging. Here's the Brussels sprouts. They have just tripled in size. Look at this butterfly bush. It's gone nuts. Here's the other Brussels sprout. Here is our kale. So you can see things are really starting to pop. We're maintaining about mid 80s, which is really good for us. So it's starting to cool down. You can tell by the the celery. Remember, this was the celery that struggled, and I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with this. I'm going to remove that, okay? I don't want to put any bad energy into these plants. And here was the other cabbage. So, it was a six-pack that he had because there's a cabbage there. Now, I hope the sun doesn't blind you guys, but here is the broccoli. And remember, I had forgot I had planted reddish seeds. And I had put that straw and I said, let's just let it go. Well, guys, look. The reddishes are coming through that straw because it's really, really lightweight. And I think it'll be easy for me to harvest because as the root comes up, I think it's going to separate that straw. But look at them reddishes and um, broccoli. I'm very, very pleased, guys. Oops, I see something. Let's look at this. Okay, got a little bit of something eating on this one, but I can't necessarily say that it happened here in this bucket. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove that. Now we're at the other hoop garden. That's what I'm gonna call it. I planted radishes. Um, some are coming up. I see something was digging in here. So it's time that I go ahead and put uh, my cover on these because uh, I can't have something digging in my garden beds. So I'm going to go ahead and cover those. Let's go down to this end. Look at the cabbage. They're already forming little heads. Oh. There we go. Down in here, every one of them's got a head. Here's a good one right here to show. Oh, yeah. So, the cabbage is flourishing. Ah, ah, I got a little knot right there. Nothing to write home about. And here's the other cabbage. Here's our Detroit Beets. Let's take a peek inside and see what we see. Here's one beet, and it's huge, guys. Now, that's an odd fella. It's kind of elongated. Here's our two buckets with the champion collards. Look at these leaves. I've got to hurry up and get some collards cooked because them leaves is bigger than my head. Now, you can blanch these and use these in place of cabbage like you would do cabbage rolls. 
and I may end up doing that because as big as this is, I can trim it down the center after I blanch and use each side as my, if you will, cabbage roll wrap. It's delicious. We're gonna be eating some uh, turnips here pretty soon. Look at this. Look in here. That's a beautiful turnip plant. So we're gonna have us some turnips soon. And then our Georgia collards. This is my favorite. Now, like I said, I've never had a champion collard, but if you look at the massive size of these leaves compared to a Georgia collard, there is a difference. I'm gonna try to walk around this maze and show y'all the zinnias. Sorry, butterfly. Remember, those are the little starts that I pulled, what, three weeks ago? Guys, they're just, they're blooming like crazy. They are so pretty. Look at that color. That's a unique one. Look at that. Bud's out here washing his uh, tiller. When he gets through using it, guys, he lets it cool down and he washes it. And we're using one of the greenhouses as a storage to protect it. Yep. And we've had this tiller how long, bud? Huh? How long have we had this tiller? We were Since 2008. I since 2008, guys. And this is this is how you, you're able to keep your equipment. Undercover. Undercover, but clean it, maintenance it. And guys, it, as we say, it'll almost last forever. And here is his aloe veras. If y'all remember, they were in like half gallon buckets, quart buckets. He's been going through and repotting all of these. And it's made a world of difference. And who would like to join me in washing all of these? The ones that you saw in the garden, I think there's, what, 10 or 11? I've got those washed. Look how many is left, guys. This is our back corner wash station, I guess, because everything's a hot mess, so you got to just find a spot and go with it. So, I figure if I could do three, four a day, but Buddy has to undo them because I can't unstack them. So how many do I have? I have one, two, three, four, five that's separated. I can do probably five a day. I'd have to do it in the evenings though because I don't want to, I just don't want to wear water. For some reason, I tend to give myself a shower when I'm washing these things. Y'all, I forgot to show you the big carrot bed. Remember I uh, seed started in this corner? Well, I do have, let me zoom in. I am seeing some germination that y'all can probably pick up on, but there's little bitty hints of green throughout that the camera may not pick up on. And then look in here. I'm starting to see little pops of green as well. I don't know if I can, there we go. Can you see that fine hair? So it looks like these two spots are going to have some germination. But this is what the rest of it looks like. I brought my green beans in. Let me tell y'all what. Look at this. I am so thrilled. Tomorrow we're going to cook them. Show you how I cook them. Right now, I'm going to get a cup of coffee. Because we still got a lot to do. So I'm going to get a cup of coffee. I'm going to insert... Mighty Mo. Yes. Mighty Mo driving a zero turn lawnmower and he learned how to not only rake, but back that little trailer in and dump the straw. And then of course you'll get a glimpse at the burn pile. We're under a burn van, so it's just gonna keep piling up. So while I get my coffee, I want y'all to enjoy this little clip of Mo. That boy is a mess. And remember, he won't be seven until November 1st.
Oops. Here's the front of the garden, guys. I am actually going to take a picture of this and I'll be able to have this photo, a photo when the wooden beds were there and the arch for the entrance. And then I'm gonna take a photo when it's all said and done so we'll be able to see before, now, and the final picture but it's gonna be a couple of months, guys. That's a lot of shoveling.